we just got to the Arnold and found a parking spot. We went to train on West Side this morning and it was awesome. We did some bench against bands with cat 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 meow. And anyways, Louis invited us to his house later. So we're like so blessed. <laughs> we're so honored. He's such a private person outside the gym. So um, we're gonna do the whole Arnold thing this morning and then go watch Rob squat in the cage at noon and then go to the XPC meet and then go to dinner with Louie and his wife Doris and go over to their house. So we'll uh, try and get some cool stuff if we meet anybody interesting. Anyways, and we'll see you guys later. Other hand on my chest. I like these eyes. I don't play by the rules. No one does. I butter both sides of my toe slow pump just because. You chase the golden arrow and watch the archers mark up in the sky. What are you doing? Are you videoing her? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta know. Like you know gravity. Okay. Okay. Is it is Wanted 775 in the cage. What did you do in the cage? What'd you say? What did you <laughs> know? <laughs> no threats. <laughs> okay. Crazy. Right. <laughs> Tell us more about your baby. <laughs> my belly is my friend. <laughs> Congrats on the bench. You too. Way to come back. <laughs> hey, I told you I wasn't really peeking for this movie. Yeah. I said, I remember you were a little shrimp I coming know. to the meets, hanging out, asking dumb questions. I know. Now you're squatting 400, <laughs> now you're squatting 400 pounds in rats. I've been trying to kiss your ass, but I, I, I remember about five years ago. You're dying. You're like... Oh, transformation it. Tuesday. Yeah. Whatever. You did it. That's what I'm talking about. Dan told me to take a lot of trend and I get lean. What's trend? <laughs> what is that? Is this a candy? <laughs> What's your name? Lily. Lily what? Lily Nicole Morris.
Ça. I love the paint on the walls. How yeah. sparkly. So we just got back to our condo, our Airbnb, my out. My den. Hey guys, what's up? Um, so today is Sunday. I think it's March 5th today. Oh, or March 4th. 6th. March 6th. <laughs> it says 4 on my fucking watch. Okay, uh, March 6th, and it was the last day of the Arnold today. It was awesome. It wasn't as busy as the other two days, so um, it was a little bit more manageable to like walk around, even though it was still like retarded. Um, we, we just got back to our Airbnb condo. We always stay at this place whenever we come into town. I'll do a quick little tour after and show you guys. It's like super nice. So if you're ever visiting Columbus, Ohio, as long as it's not the same time we're visiting, <laughs> we'll let you guys rent this place too. It's awesome. Uh, it's 85 bucks a night and it's a really nice two bedroom condo. Um, it's called Entrepreneur's Paradise. So, um, deadlifted in the cage today. It was definitely the highlight of the weekend. I pulled 315 for 18 reps. Everybody kept asking me for like the last week, like how many reps are you going to get? And I kept saying 22. I'm like, watch I get like 11 and look like a complete asshole. <laughs> Because I tested it a couple weeks ago and I got 17. So I'm like, fuck, 20 would be fucking cool. And then, fuck, maybe 22 with all the people there. But anyways, I got 18 and I'm so fucking happy about it. I'm just, it, well, it didn't matter like what I lifted or whatever. Like, but anything that I would have done, you know, I knew I could rep it out. So it didn't even matter the number. And, but it was cool like that I got to beat some of the other girls. Actually, I beat everybody except for Susan Salazar. I would have been fucking disappointed in her if she didn't beat me. <laughs> so that's awesome because I'm expecting her to deadlift 500 raw, like hopefully in uh, eight weeks from now. She'll be lifting at the RPS US Open at my gym in San Diego. So yeah, Susan got 21 reps. I got 18. Um, yeah, it was a freaking awesome day. Another girl tied me. Um, Beth Tarkini tied me with 18 reps and uh, Amanda Mayer got 7, Janelle Vector got I think 14 Yeah. and Kelly Davidson got 15. Kelly went first and like set the tone for, uh, she got 15 reps so I couldn't fucking believe it, I'm like holy shit. Definitely my deadlift has gotten stronger. About three years ago I did a 315 deadlift for reps at an expo in San Diego in a single ply suit and I got 17 reps so to beat that today raw is pretty, I'm pretty impressed and I was really happy. The, the fucking atmosphere in there was insane. Like, so I went in the cage for the first time yesterday to watch Rob Phillips squat 900 and he got it. It was fucking incredible. Like, if it wouldn't have been there, he would not have made that lift. Like, it was grinder. Grinder for fucking the ages. It was crazy. He just did not stop, though. It was one of the most impressive lifts I've ever seen. And he buried it, of course, too. Um, so when I went in there yesterday and they started playing like if you guys know the song like the intro by uh, the XX anyways um, They started playing that they played that like a lot during like downtime in the cage and it I love that song Like it's one of my lifting songs. And it just like covered me in goosebumps. And I was like holy fuck. I can't believe I'm in here. It's fucking insane like 
Dan Green and Hager Monster and Jordan Long, you know, all the animal sponsor athletes were in there. And today I went in around one o'clock and I watched T Cummings and Tom Finn deadlift. They um, they ended up doing like a last man standing, working up to one rep max. And they, one one rep max, and they both tied with seven forty. Um, and I got to like smack the shit out of Tom Finn. <laughs> like that made my fucking day. I'm like I don't even care if I deadlift anymore. I was just so friggin' thrilled. That was so awesome. He's he's just a fucking crazy person. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about him. Um, he missed seven sixty twice, and T pulled seven sixty, and like but didn't lock it out. Like a lot of people probably thought it was locked out, but like he knew it wasn't locked out and like, you know, the people standing behind him or on the side of him knew it wasn't locked out. So he t retook it in hopes of making it cleaner, but he didn't, he didn't lock it out. So it was really cool. T's handler used to be in the DCS pack for a long time, like over a year, Joe DeLuco. So uh, this weekend, yesterday T competed at the XPC finals, so I got to meet Joe and for the first time. And it's always so cool when I meet clients or old clients, people that worked with online and never met in person. I think that happened a lot this weekend. I got to meet like a lot of fans, a lot of people that follow me on Instagram. And uh, I was so like grateful, like it was so cool to talk with so many different people and yeah, people from all over the place. I asked like everybody where they're from and fuck, like nobody was from Columbus, like everybody traveled here for the Arnold, it was really cool. I'll definitely be coming back next year. So yeah, lifting in the cage, um, it was the most intense lifting environment that I've ever been in or around, that I've ever felt and I mean, fuck, I've been to like the craziest meets ever, like I was at the 2011 Power Station Pro-Am, Donnie Thompson told 3,000 pounds, Laura Phelps told 11 times body weight. There is uh, a lot of world records broken. Hugh Haas Somaroja broke the 242 all-time uh, world record. Dave Hoff broke the 308s, or 275s. AJ Roberts broke the 308s. There, it was like, I'll never forget that. Meet. A lot of like firsts for the sport of powerlifting, but the cage today, the atmosphere, it really fucking impressed me. I, I would felt like so high. Whenever I touched the bar with 135 on it to warm up my deadlifts, I started like setting up and pulling the slack out of the bar. And I was pulling the slack out of the bar, the bar started floating off the ground. That's how much adrenaline I had. Like, like you hear the term people joking like, oh, like I'm, sorry, like I'm not aware of my strength when they knock something over or something. Like, it proved to myself that like I'm way stronger than I think I am or than I feel I am. And, um, maybe I need to train myself mentally more on how to tap into my strength because it showed me that my body is capable of doing things that I never thought it could do. Whenever I lifted that bar, like I know what 135 feels like. Some days on a good deadlift day, it feels really light. It feels like nothing. But today it felt like less than nothing. And that, that made, just feeling that and what it felt like when I deadlifted 135, I was like, holy fuck, this is amazing. <laughs> Like, this is just, it was so amazing. I felt so high. It was like better than any dope I've ever used. It was amazing. Come, come in. I'm in pajamas already. <laughs> she, she just let up. Got here. Meow, meow, meow. Her daughter acts like a cat and she doesn't even have a cat and we call her Pickle. Yeah. Tell the story of whenever she tucks in her cat or says a prayer for her cat. Yeah, she says. Every she, night she says her prayers. For her cat, her cat that she, is non existent. <laughs> and the name of the cat is uh, Snowflake. But it's a black cat. It's a black cat. And we have a fish. She has a fish named Goldie. And we have a dog named Dozer. And that's my baby. Her name is Alexis. She's going to be four. Yeah. In May. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. Yes. And she's my beautiful baby. And that's Auntie Gracie. Yeah. With the G, like Gato. Oh, <laughs> that was she, a, always, she always That was like you whenever you said you were going to Columbus. And she said... With your best friend, Gracie. <laughs> yes. She's my best friend. And 
do, we do a, everything together. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a good time at the expo? Yeah, it was so awesome. Fuck, it was cool. I think just meeting a bunch of people and lifters and like being Gracie's assistant and an athlete myself, but just interacting with people is awesome. It's mm -hmm. it's like everybody wants to be better at something and I, I think it's just in us to be to want to get better and then you get to meet people in person and you get to see like how they really are and I would say about 90% of the people I meet are pretty awesome so it's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah.